What is up guys, Euclid back here with you again, and it looks like we called it right before Metro Exodus. The people at 4A Games have released another video for Metro Exodus talking about the weapons classes, and in this case it is the third and I believe probably the final weapons class to have its own video category, and that is Shotgun Class. We kind of called it, less customizations have been revealed openly about this one because there might be less of them, however I suspect we're going to see new weapons or kind of like how the Helsing was reinvented we're going to see reinvented classes and we may even see a fourth video talking about that because the Helsing is a bit of its own device so guys without further ado let's go ahead and go ahead and check out the shotgun class all right guys get another one of these and let's keep on the grind coughing Classic. I really love that searing smoke that comes out of the barrel, I gotta say that. <sighs> In its most basic form, the Ashot is a compact, single-shot, Metro-made shotgun that packs a punch, but is slow to reload. Yes. It can get you out of a tough spot if used when your primary weapon is out of ammo, or when you need to quickly eliminate a mutant. Add another barrel to the Ashot, and you have the Duplet, allowing an extra shot to be Duplet. fired successively, providing twice the capacity for damage. With formidable close-range stopping power, it's the ideal Aha. weapon when dispatching Watchmen or Nazales. Nazales! Settle for two barrels when you can have four. If you really want to stop a big mutant from attacking, a shot from two barrels simultaneously is what you need to ensure their death. It takes double the ammunition, but solves problems in half the time. The Shambler is a Shambler. custom shotgun created by the resourceful gunsmiths of the Spartan Order. Love it. Powerful and fully automatic, the Shambler is incredibly useful at close range. Its design has been perfected over the years, seeing it become the Ranger's go-to shotgun in the field. Yes. With a semi-grip and stock, long barrel, and reflex sight, the Saigar variant is accurate and Saigar deadly. Saigar variant. A smooth feeding shotgun magazine provides Woo! greater ammo capacity and increased reload speed. Here comes the magazine. Making the Saigar highly effective when your back's against the wall. Yes! It's the magazine we saw in the original trailer, premiered for E3. Upgrade to the box Cheers. magazine with belt system. What the fuck? And a standard barrel with duckbill choke. And the Shambler becomes the most assertive way to clear a marauding pack of adversaries. Good God. With a wide pellet spread and reduced reload pressure. It's the close range king of the Metro made that's... arsenal. <laughs> that's ridiculous. I was supposed to get the moral ending with that. Jesus Christ. That's ridiculous. Yes, see, that's what I figured. I figured we would get a shorter video with the shotgun class, because there are less of them. However, and that's another thing we need to mention, too, is that some you might see this video, and my first instinct was, wait a minute, they forgot some guns. No, they didn't. And I realize that now, having looked at it, because the guns have been lessened to types, but each type has variants. That's the customization at work. Which honestly just makes it better, because you're taking more than one gun with you, than just the two you're carrying, technically. So that's the really cool aspect of it. And I guess that also depends on how many parts you can carry and um, the, the customization, how it works, how many parts it carries. So I guess it depends on what you can carry, which might depend on your rucksack. And I wonder if that can be upgraded, but that's another question for another time. Let's go ahead and uh, go through the video. So where it started off at, obviously we started with the most basic of the, th the, the, the variants for shotguns. This right here, I just, I really got to give a mention out because this it just, oof. Look at that. Look at that. No. Don't even act like you didn't see that. That smoke searing out of the barrel is just badass. Like, it's barely escaping from the barrel. You release that one shot. What is the name of this one again? Just to go over it one more time. Ass shot? Yes. So you have the ass shot, obviously. 
which is a single barrel. This is what you're going to find at probably more impoverished uh, metro stations. If not nations, you're going to have marauders that probably carry these on the, as a instead of a pistol, sidearm, or revolver or something. They're probably going to carry something more along lines like this, as opposed to the Nagant Ra- um, revolver, which I know that's not what it is, but that's what I compare it to due to my recent obsession with Battlefield 1. The point I was making is that this is the kind of shotgun you're going to find with bandits and marauders, I would say. Some of them are going to have their hands on good weapons for or, you know, patrols that they ambush using superior numbers, etc. But I feel like this is the weapon of... It's, it's going to be one of the first shotguns you probably get. You know what I mean? You won't want to go back to it once you've gotten a better one. It is that stepping stone shotgun. But I don't know. I feel like there are situations where you'll run out of ammo, you'll switch a gun, you'll get rid of it, and then you'll grab this again, and then your shotgun will get better from this. However, this thing can only be upgraded to so many steps, which is why it steps up too. Whoops! We zoomed out, didn't we? Sorry, guys. So then that goes on to the duplet, as they call it. Add another barrel to the ash shot. Awesome. And you have the duplet, allowing an extra. See, I love that. Fight. That that <laughs> that Olympian uh, like sports range shooter. So we don't have the typical side by side double barrel anymore, which is okay. I will still miss it, truthfully told. But uh, the Shambler, that's what I'm the most excited about because I've honestly taken shotguns for granted until recently as actually my let's play of the Metro Last Light um, con mission for the DLC Chronicles will be up uh, probably some point tomorrow, if not the next day. And I've been using shotguns a lot more because of that mission. And it made me really appreciate the Shambler, but that's going to be hard because I'm really going to be pushing for the good, for the moral ending. So I guess we'll have to go from there. That's going to be a bitch, too, having never played the game before. Yeah, absolutely. This one I'm excited for. Like, this is the little loud assassin gun. This is the gun that was meant to be carried to one place to dispatch one person and make them extra dead. Like, you will look at them, and they will be the past tense of died. Like, he died it. Like, that's how bad they would die. Yes! It looks so mean. A shot from two barrels simultaneously. Woo! Heavy grip. Yeah, it's like, it almost gives me a Star Wars kinetic blaster feel. Like, this would be one of the few kinetic weapons used by Tusken Raiders or something. The Shambler just is sexy. Okay, the Shambler is the closest thing to, like, your signature shotgun in the Metro. Yes. Excuse me. I love how the Rotaria shells work. With a semi -grip and, stock. and look at that. I love these stocks that they're giving it to make it better. And reflex sight. The Saigar variant is got some AK parts to it is what it looks like. Feeding shotgun magazine. <sighs> Increased capacity and loading speed. That is just so that's so gorgeous. When they showed us the magazine in the trailer, that's what really got it for me. That was really what sold it for me. The Saiga. Yeah, the Saiga. Have a Saiga and a Kalash at your side. It's really hard because I'm really going to want to move around with my weapons, but I'm only going to be using weapons heavily on... Um, like, if you have a mission at night, I guess it depends on the day-night the day cycle, right? So you choose night cycle, probably try to go for the moral ending, I guess, to knock out enemies and avoid combat whenever possible. Sparing as many enemies as you can, but there are going to be situations and shootouts where you have to kill people. And it's not going to affect the moral ending for the most part, I would say. Yes. Upgrade Jesus. With belt and like, this is just ridiculous. And like... And the shambler becomes the most assertive way to clear a marauding pack of adversaries. Oh my god. It's the close range king. That's that. It's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It's a shotgun LMG. <laughs> it's just a light. I know it's not, but it's the same principle. God. Beautiful. Guys, I'm really liking how these weapons are looking, to be honest with you. I am not as excited for anything as I am A. I I'm going to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever said this because I really appreciate the Bastard Gun and how it's not silencer, but suppressor, and how it's how, how the, the, the mechanisms work on the gun, but I'm really excited for the Bastard Gun. That is looking so beautiful, and thank you for the corrections. Those of you that know how to speak Russian and understand how to look it up, I just didn't think to look it up myself. Sorry. But um, that was in fact the mailbox that the light machine gun variant of the uh, 
the bastard gun, the light machine gun variant of the bastard gun. It's a magazine, it's drum magazine, it's box magazine, it's a mailbox, it's awesome. They're like, it says mail right on it. I'm like, in Russian, and I don't know Russian yet, but we'll get to that at one point. So, without further ado, guys, this was the Metro Exodus Shotgun Class official trailer. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are feeling really good about the weapons. If you like the video, if you like this series of videos, feel free to hit like. If you did not, leave a dislike with a reason why. I just want you to be honest, guys. Criticism is really what I look for in these videos and everything. Other than that, you guys just be honest about how you feel about this game. If you want it, great. If you don't, that's that's fine. I've been waiting you know, over five years for it. I'm going to play it. I'm going to enjoy it. And I'm going to reveal to those of you that maybe don't have the game. Or maybe you want to go through the game with me and then buy it. That's up to you. But for those of you that do plan to join me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And keep up to date with me. Because I'm going to be releasing a few uh, Last Light videos. And I'm sure Exodus may release one or two more videos before launch. There's going to be at least one more. After that RDM trailer though, it's hard to tell. But until next time guys... You know, if you want to see more videos by me in the future, want to follow along, feel free to hit that notification bell. But that's spammy. Let's get over with it. Thanks for stopping by, guys. I am Euclid, and I will see all of you Spartans in the next video.